Welcome back to the final part of tonight's show. Gareth Mullins is hard at work in the kitchen. Gareth, remind us what's on the menu tonight. So we're going to do a wonderful little seared sea bream dish with a fennel and orange salad. So I'm going to get cracking straight away. So I've got two lovely pieces of sea bream here. Um, and what I just want to do is show you how to prep them. So if you just square them off just a little bit and then run your knife in to make little incisions along on the skin. I think you can see that there. I'll just do okay. another one just to show you. So what this is going to do, it's going to help us season the fish, but it's also going to help us get that skin nice and crispy. So as you can see, I'm just literally slicing into the skin. And there we go. They're ready to go. Okay, so your fishmonger will fill it the fish for you. Um, now a little bit of uh, vegetable oil into a non-stick pan. And I have that already preheated. And now I'm going to just season that fish with a little bit of salt on both sides. And then it's going to go skin side down into that preheated pan. Mm -hmm. So always away from yourself. Both pieces in. And the fish is starting to curl up slightly, but that's okay. I'm just going to hurry that up. So you want it on a medium to high heat. And now I'm going to change chopping boards because I'm going to start uh, prepping some uh, the garnish now, which is a nice little salad. So when it warms up, I'm just going to give my hands a quick wash as well. You go do your thing, it's he's fine. He's still there. He is still there, folks. He's back, I'm, you see? I'm here. Listen, it's like the looking... The sink is just behind you there. It doesn't matter. We can just look at the kitchen. I'm happy yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, we're happy to do that, yeah. Yeah. I know you're trying to buy a house. It sounds like you want to buy my kitchen, Liam. I'm, I'm actually, every time it's Gar's on, I'm like, oh, I'll get to look at the kitchen. It's amazing. <laughs> Just wait, he wakes yeah. up some morning and she's sitting in it. What do you think? Exactly. It's all right, don't worry about it. I can't cook, so I won't actually do anything in there. So what are we doing next? Okay, so I'm going to make a little vinaigrette. So a handy way to make a vinaigrette at home is grab a jar. I just put a tablespoon of Dijon mustard in there, a pinch of salt, and now I'm going to put in some lemon juice into the jar. So I'm going to put in the juice of one whole lemon. So this is what's going to dress our salad, okay? So I really like to eat food like this once uh, we get to uh, the summertime because it just lightens the whole thing up rather than heavy sauces, okay? So yeah. then we just want about three times the amount of olive oil. So I've probably put in there a good tablespoon of lemon juice and now I've put in three or four tablespoons of olive oil and give it a shake. It's done. That's ready. Okay, so that can stay in the fridge now for whenever you need a vinaigrette. We're not going to use all of that. Okay. And it's handy just to have in the fridge wherever we're going to, we, when we're ever eating a salad over um, over the summer. Okay, so. And it will last that long. Just, yeah, well, all it is, Martin, it's just a little bit of mustard for a little bit of background heat. And then I've got some nice extra virgin olive oil. That's going to give a nice peppery note to the salad. Okay. And then uh, the lemon juice is just for the citrus. And now all I'm doing here is I'm just peeling the orange. So this is me starting to build the salad now. And I'm going to slice that orange up. I'm going to have a little look at the fish and see how it's doing. Okay, it's not just me who was so, incredibly impressed at how you yeah. peeled that orange. It looks beautiful. <laughs> it's like a work of like, oh, look at that. Yeah, like nice sharp knife. So when you do an orange, top and tail, so it stays nice and square on the board. Okay. And then just follow the shape of the orange. That's all I was doing there. The other ingredient I'm going to use here is fennel. So those little bits of herb on the top, they, yeah, here you are. I'm yeah. just going to put them into the salads. they would be lovely flavour. Then I'm going to cut the fennel in half. And now I'm just going to finely slice. So I just want you to take your time and get it as fine as you can, okay? Because this salad is going to be raw. Okay? okay. So try and get it nice and fine if you can. So they go in as well. And then I've got some beautiful new potatoes here that I just cooked in a little bit of boiled uh, salted water. So they took about, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 minutes. When they came to the, when I just checked them in the knife that they were nice and soft. And then I just put them, uh, strained them off and let them cool down. Now I want you to see the fish here. So you see the way it's starting to change color? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's starting to go from, it's starting to look cooked. That's telling me that it wants to be turned over. Okay. okay so I'm just gonna turn it over. And as you can see, it's beautiful and golden and crisp. And it hasn't stuck to the pan. And that's always a fear, I think, for people, that it's going to stick to the pan. And that's, um, why, people so are, there, I, that's why people are kind of always at their fish, isn't it? Whereas you prefer to just yeah, leave it so, rest and cook. Yeah, and I think one of the two little tricks I want you to take away from this, you've probably seen on that plate that I cooked that off, I had a little piece of kitchen towel. So when you get home from the shops or the fishmongers, take it out of the plastic bag 
put it onto a piece of kitchen towel and what that's going to do that's going to remove any of the moisture for you yeah. and it's going to have okay. the fish nice and dry and then we're going to pan fry it skin side down okay. okay so what i just done then was i put in a little bit of shallot okay or a little bit of onion if you haven't got shallot you can use a bit of spring onion or a bit of red onion you've got a nice tablespoon or two of that lovely vinaigrette a good twist of pepper and then i'm just going to grab a bowl because we're almost there this dish is nearly ready wow yeah, it's that simple. So if I was doing this for the whole family, um, I would have all the ingredients ready for the salads, and then I'd put this into the centre of the table, and we could all help ourselves, and then I'd just serve the fish on the plate, maybe with a wedge of lemon. I love the last that. little thing that salad wants is just a little bit of rocket, and that's going to be a lovely little peppery note in the background. So I'd put a little bit of that salad onto the side of the bowl. Probably a little bit too much there for one, but... So you've got your orange, which is your lovely citrus note. You have your shallot, um, your potato, your rocket. All we need now is a nice glass of Riesling, maybe, to sit out in the back garden in the sun. And a duffel coat, because it's a bit cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we've got our beautiful piece of fish served on the side. I'll give it another little twist of pepper. Sure, why not? I can hear the, the oh, champagne just popped in the background there. Beautiful <laughs> champagne, not reason. <laughs> I'll drizzle it with a little bit more olive oil and then I'll show you here. So we've got some wonderful seared sea bream with an orange potato and rocket salad and a very, very quick, simple French vinaigrette. Wow. So I think that's very achievable six for and everybody. And a half minutes. I'm not even joking. There you go. Why did you have to mention wine there? Because now I'm like, Gar's right. We should, have, we <laughs> should have a glass with dinner. Mine will be a, I heard it, the mine champagne will be a toasty. We're ready to go. Gar Mullins, thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see Cheers, you soon Gar. one of the days inside the studio. We'll talk to you soon. Exactly, I'll be back. Thanks see a million, Gar. That's all we've got time for tonight. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us and to Gar for the sea bream. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with R&B superstar Neo. Uh, be sure to catch the Tonight Show later at 10. Uh, stay safe. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Bye. Bye.